Hi, uh, my name is Viktoria Yampolsky and I run the Startup Station. In this video, I'd like to talk about when it is an appropriate strategy to use random number generation to build projections. I wanted to do this video because I've seen a couple of cases when startup entrepreneurs use random number generations to project certain financial data such as demand. And I understand the reason why they may think they have no idea what the demand is going to be and therefore a random number generation strategy is as good as any to make predictions. However, this is fundamentally wrong, and here is the reason why. A random number generation strategy is only appropriate when you have no control over the outcome. For example, when you are projecting the returns of assets, a random number generation strategy will work because you have no control over the price movements of these assets over a long period of time. Therefore, you simulate the price change with the random number generator and you run multiple simulations and then you calculate the average price change over a certain period of time and you calculate other statistical data. The key reason here is that you have no control over how these assets are going to move and how their prices are going to change. What you do have control over is how you're going to allocate money among different asset classes. And that allocation is not a random number generator, right? That allocation is your decision. Similarly, when you're building a financial model for your company, you're building a plan. You are deciding on a strategy to launch your product. You are translating that strategy into a financial model, which is a quantitative representation of the strategy. And so because you have control over your strategy, you shouldn't be using a random number generated to project any numbers because your plans are your plans and they shouldn't be generated randomly. Instead, you should set out your goals. You should think through how you're going to achieve them. You should uh, create metrics, how you're going to measure the effectiveness of your strategy. And based on market feedback, make adjustments so that you can capitalize on the positive developments and you can react in a timely manner to negative developments and change the course. To learn more how you can model various business models for early stage startups, please take class number two on the Startup Stations website. Please comment below if you like this video, if you have any further questions, share with other startup founders, and please do not use a random number generator when you build your financial models. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.